Hey, real quick before the video begins, if you find this video useful, be sure to leave a like down below. And to stay up to date on my content, remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of my uploads. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody, it's Anotic. Today we're going to be doing another guide video. This time, it's about the PvP build that I always use when I'm on stream. I get a lot of people that come into my channel and ask, Hey, what's your build? What are you running on this character? So I thought I would make a video about that build and post it so people can see what I run. I like to run a 4 Ranger build that uses Longbow and Greatsword. But before we get into the different ways this build can be used, I want to go over the runes, sigils, weapons, and traits. Rune wise, you want to run Berserker Amulet for this build. It's an amulet that makes you very squishy, but also makes sure you do the most power damage. Ranger does have a decently high health pool, so you can get away with running Berserker, especially if you're running Divinity Amulet with it, which gives you plus 10% maximum health. As you can see, without Divinity Rune, I would have 15k HP with it that goes up to 18. As for the weapons, of course, I'm running the Longbow Greatsword. The Longbow, I am running the Sigil of Exposure and the Sigil of Separation. On the great sword, I take the sigil of energy and the sigil of cleansing. Now we will go over the traits for this build. First we have the wilderness survival trait line. This trait makes it so you get your dodge bar faster. Assess energy with your next minor trait. Companion's defense. Lunar pet gain protection when you dodge. As long as you're in combat at least. This even further goes with the other minor trait. You and your pet recover health when you have protection. As for the major traits, we have Child of Earth. Great muddy terrain when you use a healing skill. This is a trait that can be used both defensively and offensively. You can use it to immobilize and slow down foes that are chasing you. Or you can use it if you get ahead of an enemy to put an immobilize on them so your team can burst them. Next up we have Refined Toxins. When you're above 75% health, your attacks will inflict poison. When your pet is above the threshold, its attacks will inflict poison. This makes it a little bit harder for the enemy to sustain themselves because poison reduces the amount of healing someone can do. Then we have Wilderness Knowledge. Survival skills gain reduced recharge, grant fury, and remove conditions. This synergizes with your heal skill, your muddy terrain trait, your quickening zephyr, and your lightning reflex. That is four different condition cleanses. Next up, we'll go into the Beast Mastery line. For the minor traits, we have Pack Alpha. Your pet gets a few stat increases, has lowered cooldown on its attack. You also have a loud whistle. While your health is above the threshold, your pet deals more damage, and your pet swap gains recharge reduction. This makes it so a pet that has been freshly swapped in always do 10% extra damage on its first attack as long as it is above 90% of its HP. Also have Pet's Prowess. This makes your pet move faster and makes its crits do more damage. For the major traits, we have Resounding Timber. Commands apply additional boons around you and can reduce recharge. This makes it so your Protect Me skill will apply regen and swiftness to you, also having a lowered cooldown. Next, we have Two-Handed Training. Your Greatsword skills do more damage and recharge faster. In Fury, when you disable a foe. Finally, for Beast Mastery, we have Zephyr Speed. Cast Lesser Quickening Zephyr when you swap pets. This basically just casts Quickening Zephyr without having to press your usual button to do it. Only difference is that it does not have a stun ring. Finally, we have Markmanship. Opening Strike. Basically, if you and your pet both hit an enemy at the same time in first entering combat, that's 10 stacks of vulnerability on them. And that first attack does extra damage. Alpha Focus. Your first attack when entering combat will cripple the enemy. Precise Strike. Opening Strike has a 100% crit chance. These minor traits basically together make sure that your first attack when entering combat is a really beefy attack. Now for the major traits, we have Clarion Bond. Cast Lesser Call of the Wild when you swap pets. This basically casts your Warhorn 5 skill without having to equip a Warhorn. There are many things you can do with this trait, including blasting fields, giving yourself swiftness to move faster, and letting a pet finish off a low enemy that might be blocking. Next up, we have Farsighted. This makes all of your skills do 5% extra damage and makes them do 10% extra damage when they're further away from you. It synergizes with Longbow. Finally, we have Remorseless. You gain Opening Strike and you gain Fury. Opening Strike deals more damage. This buffs up your Opening Strike even more and gives you it more often because you have many sources of Fury on this build. Now that that's out the way, we can go over pet choices. Usually on this build, I find myself taking Smoke Scale and Juvenile Raven, but it is possible to replace the Raven with a Juvenile Rock Gazelle. As for free to play players who don't have access to these pets, what they can take is Juvenile Raven and Snow Owl. Now we will go over what the weapon skills do. Longbow, auto attack is just auto attack, but it does do more damage the further away you are from a target. Next up we have the two skill rapid fire. It fires a whole volley of arrows that does more damage the longer it hits someone. Next up we have the three skill, arrow that stealths you if it hits. Next up we have the four skill, an arrow that knocks an enemy away further, closer you are to them. Then we have the five skill barrage, it applies an AOE of arrows that remains for a few seconds as long as you complete the whole cast. If for any reason you interrupt the cast, 
the barrage will stop very quickly. Next, we have the auto attack on Greatsword. Third hit gives you endurance. You can dodge more often. And we have the two skill Maul. It's a really big hit that makes your pet's next attack do more damage. Then we have the three skill Swoop. Gap closer, but also can hit enemies. Then we have the four skill Counter Attack. It's a two part ability. You first block attacks, the enemy hits you, and then use the four again to knock them back. Now we have the five skill. Behind an enemy and you hit with it, it stuns them. If you're in front of them, it dazes them. Next up, we have your heal skill and the utility skills. Your heal skill is Troll Unguent, a heal over time ability. Very powerful. Then we have Quickening Zephyr. It makes all of your attacks faster, while it's, it gives you quickness, which makes all of your attacks faster for a duration. Then we have Protect Me. Protect Me gives you a barrier. Damage that would normally reduce your HP would instead reduce your barrier. Next, we have Lightning Reflexes. It's an ability that makes you dodge roll backwards. Moving immobilize and breaking stun. Wickeding Zephyr and Protect Me both also break stuns. We have three stun breaks on this build. Finally, we have Strength of the Pack. This ability gives you and your pet a buff that makes it so you give might to yourself and your pet when either of you two attack. It also gives you Fury, Stability, Swiftness, Regen, and Swiftness with traits. Now for the pet skills, Smoke Skill gets Smoke Cloud. Aerie on the ground that is a combo field that you can use your abilities through to gain different effects. Raven has Binding Slash. Blinds the enemies and hits twice. No Al has Chilling Slash. You see enemies chill. Finally, Rock Gazelle has Head Toss. Knock up. You combo with Smoke Scale, you can use your F2 and then your Greatsword 3 through it to give yourself stealth. Another one you can do is you can use F2 and use your abilities like your 1, 2, 3, or 4 skill for longbow and apply blind to an enemy. When it comes to the burst combo I like to do, use Greatsword 2, get your 5 to stun them from behind, do it again, I'll pass to the Raven immediately in F2. That way the Maul lands right before your F2 lands on Bird and you're fighting someone in Greatsword, you want to try to position yourself behind them if you can to get your stun. Note that you do not always need to swap pets to get the combos working. But whenever you are in Greatsword Raven, you can do Greatsword 2 into F2. When it comes to Smoke Scale, combo I like to have. I'm going to use my Longbow 2, and this Smoke Scale also does its Smoke Salt attack at the same time. So your enemy is not only getting hit by your damage from Longbow 2, it's also getting hit by the Smoke Scale's entire Smoke Assault ability. Now that you know the basic parts of this build, here's some clips of it in action. That's about it for this video though. Hope you found the guide useful. Have fun PvP. See ya!